Here's a look at basic navigation of the Scripture Study app. When you first open the app, you get a side-by-side -side view of two panels. For original language study, change the first one to Greek or Hebrew. Notice that when you hover over a verse, the verse appears highlighted in gray in both panels. And when you hover over a word, the word appears highlighted in yellow in both panels. Note that the translation may be more or fewer words than the original. When a word is highlighted, I can click on it for additional information, including the current form, the root of the word, the definition, and cross-references, both within the app or from an external source. In the NET, I can click on the blue numbers for a study note. Most verses contain multiple notes. To add an additional resource panel, I use the plus icon in the top right corner of the app. This gives me a number of options. Each of these panels will be looked at separately, but notice that when you load a panel, it appears side by side for further study of the open passage. 